Hai, uh, Assalamualaikum and good evening uh, all of you. Okay, uh, hopefully all of you are in a good condition. Okay, so today we are going to uh, continue with our lecture. Alright, so starting from today, we are going to move on to our paper 2. Topics on, on paper 2 is more on calculation lah, which I, I already uh, explain to you during the introduction class. Alright, so we have done on paper one, topics on paper one. Okay, and we are going to have uh, uh, an exam that will cover topic on paper one. Later on, uh, I will let you know when lah, perhaps on mid uh, eight or nine or ten or maybe. I will, I will let you know one week before that lah. Okay, uh, paper one. Okay. <coughs> Lem saya kurang baik. Okay, uh, I understand, but uh, never mind. Uh, if you have a problem with your line or I know, jangan lepas. Sini calam pun jangan lepas. Alright, if uh, you have problem with line, never mind. Uh, at the end of the lecture, as usual, I will share the link for the contact information lah. Okay. Can you see my slide? Anyone? Can you see my slide? Tengah loading sir. Tengah loading. Ah, sir. Ah, tengah loading. Boleh nampak? Saya Belum sir. Belum? Dia mati presentation tu je sir. You are presenting your screen tu je sir. Tak keluar lagi slide-nya? Belum. Belum. Jauh pun. Sampai nak sampai sama. Belum lagi, Sir. Yang lain? Yang lain? Belum sama, lagi. Sama, 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 Okay, masih loading? Masih. Yes, masih. 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 Blank, sir. Blank. Mungkin saya cuba lagi. Cuba present yang tu. Stop sharing. And share. Loading. Now this uh, huh? file server. Kita tengok profile okay. server. Okay, I'm okay. Okay, okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Ah, ada, 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 ada. Okay. Alah, saya nak join pula. Kita. So for those yang maybe tak boleh nak view the my screen, maybe you can refer to the notes lah. Alright. Uh, so uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we are going to move on to the paper two, okay, uh, which more on calculation. So uh, in this week, we are going to cover the first topic on paper two, which is on the time value of money. Alright. So actually this topic is very important, not only important in the syllabus whereby you are going to see the relationship between uh, time and also interest 
and it's also important for your personal life all right perhaps later on throughout the lecture later on you will find some interesting part that that you can apply in your real life okay, in your personal life right? in terms of investment and uh, saving and etc okay <coughs> all right so this is the outline for today's lecture okay uh, we are going to cover on time value of money okay which consists of six uh what we call it as a uh, factors or formulas that we are going to learn on how we can uh, investigate the relationship between time and also interest uh, in investment or in, and also in personal life, All right? Uh, which involve compound amount, present words, uh, uniform series compound amount, sinking fund deposit, present words uniform series, capital recovery uniform series, All right? So that's the six. Uh, factors or formulas that we're going to learn today. <coughs> All right, for introduction, uh, for information, money has time value. Okay, a, a dollar received today has a greater value than a dollar received at some future time. It means that uh, uh, the money that you have today, uh, perhaps the value will be increasing in the future. All right, so that's why everybody would rather have a dollar in his or her pocket today than to receive a dollar far into the future. Okay, if you have a dollar today, perhaps it's, uh, it's very um, uh, would like, lah, would it? Okay, you can buy uh, maybe one ringgit, you can buy singgit kind of power. Uh, apa dapat singgit? Maybe air kotak satu, alright, for example. But later in the future, perhaps satu ringgit itu tak boleh nak beli air kotak dah. It's about the, the inflation, the, 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 the effect of interest and, and so on. Alright, so this arises because the dollar receipt today could be any interest in the intervening period and to the extent that there is inflation, the economy, the value of money will increase over time, as I mentioned earlier. The value of money ni, if you don't do anything, uh if you have 100 today perhaps you just keep it maybe later in the future your that 100 ringgit could not, could not buy something that you want all right so perhaps you need to find ways on how you can uh spend your money all right so double up your money so the rule of thumb to every project is the need to recognize the importance of interest rate inclusion in the evaluation process all right so uh same goes in the context of construction industry when you want to pick project when you want to choose project whether the project is profitable to your company or not uh, you need to apply some evaluation process some calculation process whereby those uh, evaluation process need to include interest rate okay because uh, when we're talking about project is involved a huge amount of money and of course the amount of money that we are, we are going to receive today perhaps uh, will be uh, far greater in the future because of interest rate. So hence here we can see the importance of considering interest in making any decision regarding uh, potential investment in the future. Okay, not only for the uh, business or companies, also your uh, personal life also. Okay, so you need to consider interest when you want to make any investment. All right. <coughs> As I mentioned just now at the beginning, okay, there are six uh, factors that we could assess in evaluating the, in the relationship between interest and also time. Okay, so uh, the six factors are the first one is compound amount. What you want to find is S. S is the sum of money, the total of money. Okay, uh, what you will, what you will be given is the P value. P means provisional sum. Okay, S means sum of money, total, all right, uh, P is provisional sum. Uh, the second factor is present work, all right, so later on we, we are going into detail uh, one by one. Okay, present work, uh, what you need to find is the provisional sum, which is P, what you will be given is the S, which is the sum of money value lah that you have, all right. Uh, the third one is uniform series compound amount, so here you, yeah, I didn't join. Okay, so in the third factor is uniform series compound amount. So here you need to find uh, S, which is the sum money that you want to have in the future. 
Alright, what we were given is R. R is a regular sum. Later on, we're going to see what is S, P, and R. Okay, and then uh, the next factor is sinking fund deposit. Uh, you have to find the regular sum, which is R, and you will be given the sum of money, which is S. Uh, number five is Polynesian Works Uniform Series. Okay, you need to find the provisional sum, and then you will be given the regular sum, which is R. And then the last one is Capital Recovery Uniform Series. Okay, here you need to find the regular sum, which is R, and then you will be given P, which is the provisional sum. <coughs> so, uh, we will go one by one after this, all right? So, the first one, we focus on compound amount. So, why is compound amount? It's also known as future value of a single sum. Okay, for example, here, I am 300,000 is deposited in a bank today for eight years at a compound interest rate of 10% per year. What is the amount in the account at the end of eight years? All right, so you, you are going to invest 300,000 today. So you put in the bank. So the, the bank offer you uh, 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 an interest rate of 10%. So for the, eight, for the coming eight years, all right? So you want to know what is the amount of money for the next it is all right that's what we call it as a compound amount okay so means that kita simpan hari ni kita nak tahu duit kita uh, berapa banyak uh, selepas beberapa tahun so dalam kes ni 8 tahun lah so we want to know after 8 years how much money that we have in in the bank based on this 10% interest rate this is the formula okay before that uh, uh, I will suggest I advise you to draw a simple diagram to give you a better uh, understanding on this uh, compound amount. So we have an uh, interest rate of 10%. N is the duration, which is 8 years. So you have given the P value, which is the provisional sum, 300,000. So what you want to know is the sum of money, which is S at the end of the, after 8 years. Okay, so that's what you have to find, the S value. So this is the formula. S equals to P, uh, 1 plus I, which is uh, interest, uh, times N, which is uh, years, numbers of years. So, based on this formula, you masukkan sahaja value yang you dah tahu tadi, yang we have here, stated in the question, in the example. So, P value is 300,000, alright, 1 is given the formula, I is the interest rate, 10%. Okay, convert to value, can divide by 100, you will get 0.1, and value is 8. Okay, so 1.1 plus 8. Okay, so uh, use your scientific calculator, and you will get 2.1435 times 300,000, and then you will get 643,077 ringgit roughly lah. Okay, because kita dah bundar kan, titik masing, so maybe dah lagi sikit lah. Alright, so this is the amount that the amount of money that will be that you have in your bank account after eight years, six hundred and forty-three thousand plus plus. Alright, so this is. Okay, uh, so this is the amount of money that you have that you're going to have in your account after eight years with the interest rate of ten percent. Okay, so. Uh, so this is a compound amount. Money. Compound amount. Sorry. Compound amount. You want to know what, you, what, uh, what, uh, how many, how much money that you have after a certain period of time, based on the given interest lah. It can be ten percent, twenty percent, twelve percent, five percent. All right, it depends on question. So that's compound amount. <coughs> all right. Next uh, factors is prison work. All right. Uh, so it is. It is also known as prison value of a single sum. Okay, so example here stated that a contractor's bank statement shows a credit of 500,000 as a result of a small investment made six years ago. So interest over this period has been 5%. So what was the original investment? Yang ini contradict from the compound amount. Terbalik. Kalau tadi kita dah tahu kita nak pump 300,000, kita nak tahu selepas 8 tahun berapa. So sekarang ni uh, selepas 6 tahun, dia tahu-tahu ada 500,000. Dia tak ingat berapa dia invest. Uh, six years ago. So you have, you can apply this formula which is known as prison work, right? So uh, in a, uh, in a di diagrammatic uh, 
uh, form you can show it in this type in this uh, like this all right so uh, the interest is five percent and n is the numbers of years which is six years in this example right you know the s okay the s sum of money that you have in your account after six years which is five hundred thousand but you didn't know okay you didn't know what have been uh, what how much money has been put in the bank account six years ago so which means that you need to find the p which is the provisional sum okay so this is the formula the p equals to s all right one uh, divided by one plus i uh, and then quasi n okay masuk ke dalam formula so we have the we know the s value which is five hundred thousand uh, I value is 5% uh, converted into value which is 0 0.05 and is 6. So you put it in the formula and then you will get 373,109 3, 3, ringgit that has been invested or that has been put in the bank 6 years ago. Okay, after 6 years, they dapat 500,000. So they're making profit around 1,000 plus lah after 6 years. Okay, so that's how you can apply. Okay, in terms of prison words. Okay, kita nak backdated balik uh, berapa banyak yang sebenarnya kita dah invest. Okay, that's what we call it as a uh, prison word. <coughs> okay, next is uniform series compound amount. Okay, it is also known as future value of annuity. Alright, so ini uh, we want to know the total investment after a few years. Okay, so as you can see in the example, Given an interest rate of uh, 15% per year, what sum will be accumulated after eight years if 5,000 were invested at the end of each year for eight years? Uh, next, it's what I mean. Okay, kita tengok dalam bentuk diagram. Okay, uh, the interest is 15%. Okay, the, the total numbers of years is eight. Okay, so what we want to find here is the total money. Okay, so means that uh, every for the every year you save 500 eh, sorry 5000 in the bank account for the next 8 years okay selama 8 tahun tu setiap tahun you simpan 5000 okay selama 8 tahun so you simpan itu dipanggil regular sum ah so you simpan dalam account selama uh, sebanyak 5000 setiap tahun selama 8 tahun so you want to know after 8 years berapa banyak duit you ada dengan interest 15% okay so in this case, you, are, you you need to find the S value. So this is the formula. <coughs> so the formula is uh, S equals to R. Okay, we want to find the S. The R value is given here. K1 plus uh, I uh, cos N uh, minus 1, right, divided by, divide by I. Right, so value yang you tahu, you masukkan dalam formula. R 500, oh, sorry, 500. 5,000, alright, and value is 15%, okay, jadi 0.15, and is 8 years, minus 1, 0 0.15, okay, masukkan of wheeler, and you akan dapat 68,634, itulah duit yang akan ada dalam account you selepas 8 tahun, hasil simpanan you sebanyak 5,000 setiap tahun, okay, so that's what we call it as a uniform series compound amount. You simpan setiap tahun 5,000 selama 8 tahun So selepas 8 tahun, you akan dapat 68,934 So kalau ikutkan 5,000 setiap tahun selama 8 tahun, it's 10,000 Okay, you, you invest So you dapat profit around 28,000 plus Okay, so that's what we call it as a uniform series compound amount The next <coughs> is sinking fund deposit Right uh, in this uh, factors, uh, the example here stated that your daughter is currently three years old and will go to college at the age of 20. Okay, so means that you have 70 years, ada 17 tahun untuk you fikirkan uh, macam mana you nak pay duit okay, untuk uh, your daughter pergi sama belajar nanti. Okay, assuming, assuming that when she starts, she, uh, assuming that when, we, when she starts college, she will need at least 80,000 in the bank. Okay, to you assume lah. Okay, uh, at least you have, you need to have 80,000 dalam account you. 
okay untuk menampung perbelanjaan anak perempuan ini. Okay, so how much do you need to save each year in order to have enough fund if the current interest rate is 5%. Okay, so sekarang ni anak you umur 3 tahun. Okay, lagi 17 tahun umur anak you 20 tahun yang dia akan pergi college. So you perlukan sekurang-kurangnya 80,000 dalam account untuk menampung perbelanjaan anak you. So you nak simpan. Setahun you nak simpan. Okay. So you nak tahu berapa banyak you nak kena simpan setiap tahun selama 17 tahun sampai umur anak you 20 dengan interest interest sekarang 5%. Okay. Itu uh, yang dipanggil sinking fund deposit. Okay. So you nak tahu berapa you nak kena simpan setahun. Alright. So ini dalam bentuk diagram. Interest 5%. Tempoh yang you nak kena simpan ni adalah 17 tahun sebab anak you sekarang umur 3 tahun. So you, dia, you target dia akan masuk college pada umur 20. Alright. So sekarang ni you nak cari regular sum. Okay, berapa uh, you need to save annually. So setiap tahun berapa you nak kena simpan selama 17 tahun untuk dapat jumlah 80,000 dalam account selepas 17 tahun. Okay. So this is the formula. R equal to S. Okay. Uh, I uh, interest divided by 1 plus I uh, kuasa N minus uh, 1. Okay, so you masukkan dalam formula, S is 80,000. Okay, you know the sum of money that you want which is 80,000. So you want to know what you have to spend uh, for each year for the next 17 years. Okay, you masukkan dalam formula, okay, you akan dapat 3,096 ringgit. Itu yang you kena simpan setiap tahun selama 17 tahun. Okay, untuk mendapatkan jumlah 80,000 dalam account. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, this knowledge is very useful for our personal life lah later on bila you dah bekerja, you nak buat investment alright, uh, bila you dah kahwin, dah ada anak uh, you want to find uh, investment for your daughter or son and etc. So this is one of the way that you can apply lah not only for business, okay, you also can apply for uh, your personal life as well. <coughs> alright, uh, the next one is prison works uniform series. Okay, it's, not, it's also known as prison word, uh, prison value of annuity. Okay, the example here stated that what, what sum of money should be dis, deposited in a bank in order to provide 12 equal annual withdrawals of 3,000 ringgit. Assume the rate of interest is 15%. Okay, you nak, you kalau boleh you nak keluarkan dalam uh, factors ni, dia nak tunjukkan, you nak keluarkan duit setiap tahun 3,000. Okay. So selama 12 tahun you nak keluarkan 3,000. Okay, so you nak tahu berapa jumlah you kena ada dalam account supaya membolehkan you keluar duit 3,000 setiap tahun. Okay, itu dipanggil Brazen Words Uniform Series. Okay, so ini dalam bentuk diagram. Okay, so uh, interest is 15%. Tahun ada 12 tahun. 12 equal annual. Okay, 12 tahun. So you nak keluarkan setiap tahun selama 12 tahun sebanyak 3,000 ringgit. Okay, so you nak tahu berapa uh, provisional sum yang you kena simpan. Okay, berapa banyak duit you kena ada dalam account supaya you boleh keluar setiap tahun 3,000. Okay, so this is the formula. Okay, P equals to R, uh, 1 tambah I kuasa N minus 1 divided by I, 1 tambah I kuasa N. N is I to interest. Okay, so you masukkan dalam formula. 3,000 which is the regular sum. The interest dia 0.15 and value is 12 years. Okay, and then you akan dapat 16,262. Okay, ini yang duit yang you kena simpan sekarang dalam account. So, supaya setiap tahun selama 12 tahun, you boleh keluarkan 3,000 ringgit, 3,000 ringgit. Okay, setiap tahun. Alright, so that's uh, what uh, does it mean by prison words uniform series. Okay, the last one is Capital Recovery Uniform Series. Okay. So here, uh, your daughter deposits 400,000. Oh sorry, your, your father deposits 400,000 on retirement into a bank which pays 10% annual in, annually interest. Okay. How much it can withdraw annually for a period of 15 years? Okay. So, uh, ayah kita simpan 400,000 dalam bank. Alright, so bank to offer 10% interest. Okay, berapa kita boleh keluar annually. Alright, selama 15 tahun. Alright. <coughs> so, contradict 
from present words tadi. Kita balik. Kalau tadi kita nak tahu berapa kena simpan supaya kita boleh keluar RM3,000 selama 12 tahun. Tapi sekarang kita dah tahu kita nak simpan berapa tapi kita nak tahu berapa banyak kita boleh keluar selama 15 tahun. Alright. So, ni 10% uh, the interest uh, period dia adalah 15%. Now we want to find the R, regular sum yang kita kena, yang kita boleh keluarkan duit selama setahun sekali selama 15 tahun Okay, dengan jumlah 400 ribu dalam account bank Okay, so this is the formula E, I, uh, 1 tambah I kuasa N divide by 1 tambah I kuasa N tolak 1 Alright <coughs> And then uh, masukkan dalam formula 400 ribu Uh, interest 0.1 and dia adalah uh, 15, 15 and then you akan dapat 52,600 so maksudnya setiap tahun dia boleh keluarkan 52,600 selama 15 tahun alright so that's what we call it as a capital recovery uniform series okay so that's all the six factors that you need to know in order to evaluate the relationship between interest and also time so kita boleh Uh, predict the future, okay, what amount of money that we, we could have in the future we, if we invest this uh, this amount of money in the bank today, alright, or we can uh, go back to the uh, uh, present, okay, whereby uh, we want to investigate five years ago, six years ago in terms of our investment, okay, whether, uh, whether it is uh, worth it. Ini uh, dah simpan 10 tahun tapi uh, profit dia, interest dia cuma sikit. So maybe we need to find alternative uh, investment that offer higher interest rate and etc. Okay, so any question for this six factors? Dr. Falem? Dia tidur dah. Okay, hujan ni. No, sir. Faham, sir. Faham. Um, <coughs> okay. Faham, sir. Okay, good. Faham. <coughs> okay, nak tengok pemahaman you. Uh, I need class pendek je. Ya? Kita nak habis hari ni. Alright. Uh, so what okay, I want sir. Okay, okay. Wait, lepas ni macam. Okay. Uh, so in order to check your understanding, understanding, okay, what I want, you, I want you to do is that I want you to answer all these questions. Okay. Uh, I will end up the session uh, sekejap lagi. So after kita habis session ni, you straight away do the exercises. And then tomorrow we will discuss the answer. Okay, so hopefully uh, you try lah buat, cuba buat juga kalau uh, tak, tak boleh pun cuba juga Alright, try dapatkan jawapan so tomorrow we will check the answer and then uh, tomorrow I will give another questions lah juga untuk uh, enhance lagi you punya understanding on this topic Okay, ada beberapa soalan, compound number ada dua uh, present words ada dua soalan uh, Uniform series have two questions also And then thinking file ada two questions uh, Present words ada one question and the last one by Peter Recovery ada one question Alright, so whatever you have learned today, I hope you can apply on these exercises Alright, and then tomorrow we will uh, discuss your answers lah Okay Alright, so that's all for today Tengah jam je ni Any question? Alright formula tu kena Blue sama Ah, uh, Sama-sama Siapa? Siapa tadi tanya formula Formula apa? Formula tu kena hafal ke? Formula tu kena hafal ke? Ah, uh, For this For this topic Kalau keluar exam uh, Formula ni diberi Kalau you tengok pas exam question Formula ni diberi Enam-enam tu Tapi uh, Jalan keluar kalau dululah masa zaman Dr. Roshana ada lah Semester ni tak show lah macam mana Okay ada lagi tadi nak tanya apa? Kena hantar ke? Hmm Yang exercise ni tak perlu hantar Yang exercise ni you do for your own uh, revision Okay and tomorrow kita discuss your part Okay Where can I get your note for lecture 7? Haa uh, Datu dah lawan dalam island, eh sorry dalam island, yang you feature kan dah, saya dah masukkan dalam you feature kan? dah dah kan? dah saya alright, ni you feature okay, Nurul Hairizatul Shahfina haa, ah, panjang nama alright, so I have uploaded the notes in the you feature you boleh tengok 
Okay, any more questions? Sir. Yes. Yeah. Recorded video untuk hari ni, sir nak bagi bila hari ni jugalah. Ah, uh, saya try hari ni. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Saya try hari ni. Kalau Google dia masuk cepat dalam saya drive, nanti saya tu buat dalam YouTube. Okay, rasanya uh, sempat kot. Saya tak refresh pun. Sambil ada orang nak tanya? Ah, tak ada saya. Tak ada lah. Kalau tak ada, oh my. Any else? Any, any more questions? Ada? Nak tanya? Kalau tak ada, we can stop now then you can straight away do your exercise. Sementara masih ingat. Aku kan dah lupa kan. Terus tak boleh nak buat. Okay, so tomorrow we will discuss the answer and I give you more questions tomorrow lah on this topic. Okay, so and before we end the session, uh, I just, I would like to remind you uh, to regarding your assignment too. Okay, which will be closed tomorrow. Okay, so saya tutup esok. Okay, assignment to you. So, jangan lupa to finalize and submit dalam the future lah untuk assignment tu. Okay, so that in case, uh, see you again tomorrow at 2pm. Okay, which, uh, we are going to discuss on the exercises and some occasions I will give you on uh, this topic lah. Okay, so that's all for today. Okay, thank you. Uh, take care. Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Thank you. Thank you doctor. Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Thank you sir.